Hi, I'm John, G4ABQ and co-founder of SDR Play, makers of the Radio Spectrum Processor, the RSP. The RSP is an SDR, a software-defined radio operating from 100 kilohertz all the way up to 2 gigahertz, giving you 8 megahertz of bandwidth anywhere over that spectrum. So what's so special about the SDR Play? Let's look at the history. Radio has been around for over a hundred years and probably one of the biggest breakthroughs happened back in the 30s and 40s with the commercially viable production of thermionic valves and tubes. And here's a radio I had when I was 12 years old. It was already ancient then. Designed in the 40s, a Marconi CR150. <laughs> Still working today and using thermionic valves as also in this 10 watt uh, top band 80 transmitter that I built in the early 70s um, just at the end of, uh, end of the time when people were still using this technology. In the 60s the next big breakthrough was semiconductors first of all in discrete transistor form and then ICs, integrated circuits, and this fueled the development of more and more compact radios while at the same time bringing ever-increasing functionality to the point where new digital modes became possible. In parallel, that same technology was powering computers which grew capable of processing digitally what could previously only be done using cumbersome analogue components. Here's an example of some fine Japanese technology listening in on the 20 meter band. So winding forward to 2014, there was a proliferation of 8-bit dongles out there, lots of SDR software available for Windows platforms, Linux machines, and I had the good fortune to be talking with some guys from Mirix about taking their broadcast technology that they'd developed for mobile phones and for PCs to be able to do multi-standard broadcast uh, signal decoding using the host processing power of either a mobile phone or a PC and adapting that to a product that would be fun and attractive for developers to innovate and for hobbyists and radio hams to get low-cost high-performance radios. And that's exactly what we've achieved with the RSP shown here in the centre with its antenna input from a G5RV in this case, but it's sort of a wire dipole for HF frequencies, and a USB on the other side connected to a Windows PC. Then over here on the main display you can see HDSDR which is probably the simplest um, general purpose uh, software to use. Uh, tuned in to the 20 meter band, 14 megahertz, and showing the whole of the amateur band from 14 megs up to 14350. So the best way to find out more is to talk to people who've already got an RSP, either on this website, on our forum, uh, or by going to the Facebook group SDR Play. Thank you for watching.